Well, hello, I'm David Freeman Whiff. Is that really in the Bible? I don't know what you thought about this recent election. You know, I'm going to tell you, I honestly thought, and I told other people this, and I was so grateful that I was wrong. You know, there, have you ever noticed there are times when you are grateful that you were wrong, that being wrong can be a wonderful thing? It's a, it can be like a great gift sometimes. But I actually told people, and I believed it, that Hillary was going to win. I thought that as a nation that we were already at that tipping point. When I looked at the universities and the colleges and the professors in those colleges, when I looked at millennials and the way they think, uh, 30 years of being in business for myself and working Americans and working young people, all of it sort of led to an awareness that we were already at that tipping point to where we would sell America, the birthright nation, Manasseh, that had God's blessings upon it, the freedom that America had, the freedom of the birthright nation. I thought we were at that point where we would sell our freedom for socialism. And I truly believe that we were at that point. And for that reason, I thought Hillary was going to win. Now, I am grateful that I was wrong. Very, very, very grateful that I was wrong. But when I consider how close this election was, I mean, it was a close election when you think about it. I mean, here was a candidate, Hillary, the Hilda Beast, who had no charisma, no vision, no purpose, and basically people didn't want another four years of Obama's liberal thinking and failed leadership and policies. They didn't want that, and they rejected that. But in spite of that, of a person who had no, no, had nothing to offer, absolutely nothing to offer, the election was very close. And I want you to think about something else that I think is true. Had the Democrats not so stupidly insisted on their goddess, the Hilda Beast, and instead focused on Bernie Sanders, You know, I honestly believe, had it been Bernie or Trump, I think Bernie would have won. The jig would have been up. We would have sold our freedom for socialism. You know, Bernie truthfully, at least he truthfully admitted that he was a socialist. Whereas, you know, Hillary is a progressive. Progressives don't actually, they're working towards socialism, but they don't, they sort of hide it. You know, but it's a gradual process of working into socialism. And of course, according to history, socialism always turns into communism. That's the end result of it. So I'm glad, very, very glad that Trump won. Now, my question, though, is this. What do you think is going to happen four or eight years from now? It's a scary thought. If we came this close to one of the crappiest candidates for a a president, Hillary, or as the scenario that I just said, that that if Bernie, a devout socialist, I think he would have won. If we came this close, I'm telling you, America, the writing is on the wall. We will sell, you can put this in your pipe and smoke it, we will sell our birthright of freedom for socialism four or eight years from now. It's going to happen.